a very warm welcome to yet another brand new edition of Colors of India, your weekly cultural diary on Rajya Sabha TV. I'm your host, Tina Jha. So as always, let's begin with a look at the highlights first. This week, we begin with the festive fervor of the Baisakhi Mela, which kicked off with a bang in Delhi. Next in the order is the Bhakti Fest. And finally, we share with you some simple chocolate baking tips. Imagine a colourful countryside, scrumptious cuisine and some boisterous music. Add to the mix an infectious zest. That in a nutshell would be life as people know it in Punjab. So that combined with the colourful and beautiful culture of Punjab was on display in Delhi recently which the people had a chance to witness during the Baisakhi festival celebrations. Take a look. Music, art and culture. The three-day Bisakhi Mela offered a complete package from Punjab. The vibrant land of the five rivers. The festival presented an atmosphere amid the typical setting of a Punjabi village. Bisakhi Punjabi is the main thing. Because it is cut off the grass. And the main thing is that if it is not the grass, then there is nothing else. और किसान साड़ा आंदाता है इस कार्य के ओ बड़े जोर शोर नल साक्षी मनांदा है तो जी मैं इतने साड़ा सारा पंजाबी कल्चर बैठा हुआ है ओ के अंदर तोड़ी तांद सांब हाँडी वेच वट के लंबड़ाते शाहदा ही साब कट के मार दाद दमाम में जट मेले आ गया ओ बार बार बोल दा आओ निपरेमी है अपनी औरत ने भी कहन the annual festival gave an insight into the rich tradition of the Punjabi culture and its art. The celebration featured folk dances including the Bhangda, the highlight of the Bisaki festival when the wheat harvest is reaped. The feminine counterpart is the Giddha, an enthralling performance performed by girls in bright and colourful costumes. My name is Sonihal Satsriya Kaal. My name is Kuljit Singh. I have come to see Bisaki Mela. I have come to see Bisaki Mela for 3-4 years. I have come to see Bisaki Mela for 3-4 years. बहुत ही जोनी है ना दी डेकोरेशन वगैरह है क्या कल्चर नल काफी जुड़े हुए ने हैं लोग बांग्ला इज वेरी क्लासिक एंड दे आर डूइंग इट इन वेरी क्लासिक वे बांग्ला एंड गिद्दा दे आर परफॉर्मिंग इट जस्ट लाइक एनीथिंग एंड पीपल आर एन्जॉयिंग पीपल आर डांसिंग एंड दे आर चेयर इट इज वेरी मच इन it has two opponents wielding wooden staffs and shields to stimulate sword play. Points are scored for making contact with the stick. Like most South Asian martial arts, Gatka lays emphasis on footwork and tactical body positioning. The quick reflexes of the combatants struck an immediate chord with the audience. Saki Mela is really very, very well done, very well organized. I think uh, it's, a, it's a blend of, uh, you know, good food and uh, a little bit of shopping and excellent music. And the entire ambience is perfectly Punjabi. So I think it's really a treat to be here. And especially the weather is, uh, you know, uh, going along with it. It's in consonance and complete sync with Besaki. 
So I think it's a wonderful treat for all Delhiites and uh, no one should miss it. Then of course there are the authentic arty crafts from Punjab. It's famous fulkari. Literally meaning floral work or floral craft. The lively colored dupattas and dress pieces were a show stopper along with the pretty parande for an ethnic hairdo and beautiful bangles. Fulkari work we've seen a lot of dupattas here they were very beautiful. We know that fulkari come from Punjab. And it's very nice over here. हमारे पे हर तरीके की परांदियाँ जो हाल की गुदवाली बड़े भारी गुदवाली सब तरीके की ये पूरा मतलब पंजाब को है समर्पण परांदियाँ बिल्कुल लगते हैं कि इंडियन लड़कियाँ हैं पूरी लंबी लंबी चोटियों परांदियों के साथ उनकी गुद के साथ मतलब अच्छा कलरफुल लगती हैं इसमें मतलब जैसे मेरा गेटअप है पूरा पंजाबी के साथ गुद के साथ पूरा है And then the mouth-watering Punjabi cuisine. The corner serving the famous Amritsari Chole Kulche was the busiest place of the fest. The authentic Punjabi platter proved to be the most delightful experience for the food buffs. Vizakhi da gaye aur aithe saare Punjabi culture da saare stalls lagay ne. Sanu moka mile aithe kulche khalan da Punjabi Amritsari kulche da. Stuff kulche unde ne bolle aur naal chole unde naal chatti unde. The grand finale of the evening turned out to be the popular Punjabi singer Hadi Sandhu, who pumped up the celebration with a more than a little Punjabi tadka. His song "Soch" transporting the audience into a world of emotion and love. As Punjabis all around the world mark the beginning of a new calendar with the Harvest Festival of Baisakhi, Delhi has its own festive event, the annual Baisakhi Mela. The celebration showcased the culture of Punjab through the authentic Punjabi cuisine, the artifacts, and the traditional cultural performances. The camera person Rajdeep, Ravneen Kaur for Rajya Sabha Television. The Baisakhi festival offers a slice of the Punjabi lifestyle in the traditional setting of a Punjabi mela. It's a sight to behold, especially in the context of our busy, everyday urban existence. From the best cuisine to the most genuine art, this festival had it all. On that note, time for us to slip into a very short break. There's much more lined up for you on the other side. Do stay with us. Coming up ahead on the program, a devotional extravaganza and a Bharat Natyam recital. Welcome back after the break. Now the Indian Council for Cultural Relations, ICCR, organized the first international Bhakti Utsav in the capital recently. The focus of the event was facilitating interactions with cultures from across the globe, looking to foster and strengthen cultural relations, also mutual understanding. The first ever international Bhakti festival, an event to celebrate global cultural diversity while steeping oneself in its wonders. Among the star performers, the famous Agnihotri Bandhu from Lucknow, mesmerizing the audiences. Rakesh and Devesh started with a bhajan dedicated to Lord Ganesh, seeking to connecting the audience and the event with the Supreme Being. Amar 
We followed it up with Ram Ram Gao Santo, creating the perfect ambience around the theme of the evening. हमारा एक विचार है संयुक्त विचार है कि हम भजन प्रस्तुति में समस्त देवताओं को सम्मिलित करते हैं जो हमारी सनातनी परंपरा की मूल धारा में हैं जैसे गणेश कृष्ण देवी शिव हनुमान गणेश गंगा समस्त नदियां और जो भी मतलब ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि जो भी हमारी भारत की मुख्य धारा में प्रचलित हैं देवी देवता जिनको हम भजन करते हैं इनका सब हमारा प्रयास होता है एक गुलदस्ता ऐसा बनाया जाए कि जिसका जो ईस्ट है ऑडियंस में किसी का ईष्ट कृष्ण है किसी का राम है किसी का हनुमान है किसी का शिव है किसी का देवी है तो सबको कुछ ना कुछ मिले कोई खाली हाथ ना जाए द थर्ड पीस अब तो पलक उठाओ भगवान ड्रू यूज अप्लॉज पर हैव्स द हाईलाइट वाज अ परफेक्ट सिंक्रोनाइजेशन ऑफ द डुओ विद द सपोर्टिंग म्यूजिशियंस ended with the holy touch the ganga stuti appealing to save the holy river and keep it clean the second half of the program was taken over this devotional music group of central monastic body from bhutan The institution is an assembly of around 600 monks who attended to the most critical religious duties of the country. This is very much bhakti because it's all a devotional prayers. Usually when you say a prayer it's always linked with the bhakti things. And most concept of our prayers is especially we are doing a prayer which invites all the divine enlightened beings and god and goddesses to flow the energy to the world. This enchanting prayer by the six monks evokes spiritual powers to come and heal the earth. The charming invocations showcase the traditional and devotional culture of the Bhutanese and the magic showed in the reception and appreciations they received from the audience. like these provide the ideal platform to promote cultural exchanges between countries they also help develop and establish relations with national and international organizations working in the field of culture well moving on in the program now in an attempt to present the rich culture and art of india yogdan a social and secular organization presented a performance of music and dance their effort was widely appreciated let's see what A classical concert to remember Pandit Kumar Gandharva Sur Shingar featured a Hindustani classical vocal recital by Pandit Madhav Mudgal and a Bharatnatyam performance by Geeta Chandran. वास्तव में अपनी संस्कृति और अपनी कला इसको बढ़ाने का काम जो योगदान कर रहा है वो हम सब के लिए बहुत गौरव की बात है और हमारी विरासत को आगे बढ़ाना और आज के मॉडर्न ज़माने में वो तो सब है ही है लेकिन आज भी उसके कदरदान बहुत हैं और इसलिए इस संस्कृति के साथ साथ मिलकर के हम अपनी संस्कृति की धरोहर को 
अगर जितना आगे बढ़ाएंगे तो मुझे लगता है कि आने वाली जनरेशन को भी फ़ायदा होगा और जिस चीज़ के लिए हम पहचाने जाते हैं उसको हम और आगे बढ़ाएं तो इससे अच्छी बात कोई नहीं हो सकती An extraordinary singer, Madhup Mudgal is not only in perfect command of his craft, but also conveys that he is someone who has meditated deeply upon the meaning of his music. Padmashri Mudgal counts among his gurus not only the legendary Kumar Gandharva but also doyans like Vasant Thakkar and Pandit Jasraj which is reflected in his renditions as well which are imbued with rare purity depth and conviction iska anand alag hai iska anand zyada depth mein hai bahut bahut zyada isme anand depth mein anand hai aur isliye wo zyada asar rehta hai iska आप देखेंगे पुराने गीत जो मदन मोहन जी के रोशन जी के लक्ष्मीकांत लक्ष्मीकांत पैरल जी वो गीत अभी भी चल रहे हैं आजकल वाले एक हफ्ते में गायब हो जाते हैं जबकि वो पुराने अभी भी टिके हैं और आप भी सुन रहे हो नए लोग भी क्यों उसमें धुन है उसमें कई राग वेस्ट हैं कई धुन होनी चाहिए इसलिए धुन होती है इसलिए वो चलते हैं Over the years Geeta Chandran has made her name synonyms with the Bharatnatyam. One of the oldest forms of India, Bharatnatyam was nurtured in the temples and courts of South India. Geeta's performance brought to life abstract notions like joy, beauty, values, aspiration, and spirituality. Her dedication to her art is what makes her a widely respected role model for the young generation. Music and dance are integral to our lives. Not only are they the most evolved forms of entertainment, but they also provide the very window to the souls of human beings. Both Madhup Mudgal and Geeta Chandran are doing a valuable service by not only keeping the tradition alive but also passing it on to the next generation. On that note, time for us to slip into another short break. There's still more to come when we return. Don't go anywhere. On the other side, we share some easy chocolate recipes with you. So don't go away. Welcome back after the break. Now all of us love chocolates. So to cure your craving and give your family members a mouth-watering treat, in this segment we get you simple methods of how to make chocolates in an easy and affordable way right in your kitchen. Take a look. When most of us hear the word chocolate, we picture a bar a box of bonbons or a bunny here i bring you the whole making of these beautiful dark chocolates the yummy chocolate ganache and the tempting chocolate butter cream by a teenager who is fully supported by her family sanya sarguru is a 19 year old girl who is heading towards her future in the field of baking and has already created a benchmark for such other young and creative minds. 
ब्रेकिंग का इसको बहुत ज़्यादा पूरी पूरी रात जागती है हमें भी लगता है इसके डैडी कहते हैं कि देखो ये पूरी तरह रात रात ये होती है करते रहती है तो इसको फिर वो नहीं लगता कि रात हो रही है दिन ये करती रहती है बिल्कुल उसमें लग जाती है बिल्कुल और वो चीज़ निकल निकल जाती है जब वो करती है कुछ भी चीज़ें दे दो इसको यानी जो चीज़ ख़राब हो गई कोई नोटबुक बेटा इसको ठीक से कर लो तो बहुत अच्छे से उसको डेकोरेशन करती थी The first to go is the dark chocolates which are really simple and easy to make. Coming down to the process of chocolate making, you just require the cooking chocolate which undergoes a double boiler process which is later poured in mold to give the desired shape and design. चॉकलेट्स इट्स लाइक वो हीट हीट रेजिस्टेंट ज़्यादा होते हैं सो दे हैव टू बी स्टे स्टेड अवे फ्रॉम द हीट दैट वाई हम उसको डबल बॉयलर पे बनाते हैं सो दैट वो स्टीम से मेल्ट हो एंड देन वी कैन जस्ट मोल्ड इट प्रिकॉशन शुड बी शुड बी टेकन दैट जो चॉकलेट वेन वी आर मेल्टिंग इट इट शुड नॉट बी इन द डायरेक्ट कंटैक्ट विद द हीट एल्स द चॉकलेट विल गेट बर्न so we have to do it through a double boiler process by taking a pan filled with water and co uh, cooking it away with the steam or else we can also microwave it we should use the best quality of the raw material to make the chocolates more tastier jitna bhi zyada raw material mein zyada coarser coarser chocolates hongi to unki taste zyada better hoga so use the best material to make the best chocolates The next to lure you is the chocolate ganache which is used for icing the cake and make them even more luscious. Melt the cooking chocolate. Layer the first on the melted chocolate. Chocolate ganache will be ready in seconds. we need to melt the cooking chocolate and we need to also heat up the uh, heavy cream and then slowly we have to uh, we have to mix both of them and we have to like uh, stir them very fastly so that they can get a good texture and ganache it is like uh, we always need to mix the uh, we cannot do it like mixing uh, cream in the chocolate we have to mix uh, we have to mix the chocolate into the cream and we have to be very fast making uh, mixing both of them because if we'll if we'll be a little late then the chocolate will start uh, harden up the third and the last product with chocolate is the mouth watering chocolate butter cream sanya uses it to beautify cupcakes and make them more delightful For this, you need the icing sugar, the cooking chocolate, and some butter. Now, as per the procedure, the butter goes in first, and then the carefully sieved icing sugar. In the end, the melted chocolate is added in the mixer to make the final cream. Procedure should be: we have to cream the butter as much as possible uh, for getting us. smooth texture and then we have to uh, add the add the icing sugar little by little and once they have incorporated very well then we have to add the chocolate melted chocolate into it and mix all the three ingredients uh, with a nice and silky texture um, and then we have to apply it on whenever wherever we have to ga uh, garnish it we can make any rose shape or leaves or anything with the butter cream it depends upon the upon the nozzles which we use whichever design we want we can make it with that with this chocolatey experience you can now easily make your own chocolates chocolate or chocolate products made from cocoa beans are consumed as candy and are also used to make brews and to flavor or coat various confections and bakery products rich in carbohydrates it is an excellent source of quick energy this was a delightful experience 
with such rich texture and delicate flavor. It was definitely a treat to grab on. So while you go, try your hand at some of these items. It's time for me to wrap up this episode of Colors of India. We'll see you same time next week with more exciting stories. Until then, take very good care. Goodbye from the entire team.